welcome to the show. It's a great time to be a drover. Both of our men's and women's soccer teams have won the SAC championships and are on their way to nationals this weekend. And our basketball teams, they've started the season and we're looking forward to a great one out of both of them. Today we have a junior with the men's basketball team on the show. This is in the saddle. While our soccer teams are representing us in nationals, our basketball teams are working hard here at home. Today we have Junior with the men's basketball team, Graham Faulkner, on the show. Thanks for being on the show. Uh, thanks for having me. We've got a great start of the season. The guys are 2-1. and one. We beat out number 6, LSU Shreveport, and then Division 2, number 11, UCO. Um, so tell me about the season so far. Yeah, it's been going well. Um, we've been working hard ever since we got here at school. And, um, so we've had Mike helping us a lot with conditioning and doing some of that stuff, so it's been good. But um, also, just when you guys get guys with talent that work that hard, just a lot of good things will happen. And so that's what's been going on this season. What do you expect to see the rest of the season out of the team? Uh, hopefully a lot of the same, even better. I think there's a lot of things that we can improve on as long as we continue to work. But, I mean, the sky's the limit for us, really, um, as far as our potential goes. I think is the only team that can really stop us is ourselves. So hopefully as long as we keep working hard, that it'll keep going well. So. Okay. Well, who are some of the playmakers that you've already pointed out on the team this season? Yeah, um, it's just for the guard spots, pretty much everybody that we, they brought in a lot of good playmakers is the point we have returning. I mean, we have Trell um, coming off. I mean, he's came off the bench a couple of times and started by Javi. He can come in and shoot really well. Um, and then you got Phil, he came back. And then you have Norris, who he's just really good with the ball. He can do a little bit of everything. He's really good to have on that wing. And then once Ty gets back, I think he'll be a really good help for us. He's a really good rebounder from the guard spot. He's just real energetic, coming off the bench. Um, plays defense really well. Um, and then at the, we got two terrific big men in Brandon and Kyle. And there's not a whole lot of teams that can really handle them inside. And so it's just great to play with. And our game against Central Oklahoma was our home opener, and the team was just electric. We just had some amazing shots. Is that what our home crowd can expect all season? Uh, absolutely. I think whenever you have guys running the floor, guys like Kyle, guys like Ben, um, and guys like Brandon, that I mean, you just throw the ball up and they'll go get it, and they'll put it down like we saw in that game. Um, we had a couple chances last night to do the same thing, and so I think that it's something consistently that will happen. As long as our defense spurs on our offense, we get that open floor. Um, it'll be exciting to watch. Personally, you're averaging about eight points a game, and um, you're second on the team in assists. So you're already, you know, a big factor on the team. Is that what you see? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Um, just with being here for the last couple of years, there's been a lot of experience and ups and downs and stuff that's really helped me. And I think plus, um, once you once when you have a team like we have that anybody can score, that really takes a lot of focus off just one player or one shooter or one guy to drive. So it's opened up a lot of things for our guards and myself in particular. And so hopefully, just as the season goes on, consistently stays and consistency stays. And then also with guards that drive, when you have those big guys, it's just really easy to get assists because you can just dump the ball inside. So it makes things a lot easier. Okay, great. And you're a physical education junior, but you've got some really specific plans after graduation. I do. Um, Lord willing, once I get done here at USA, I plan on going to seminary, um, hopefully out in Kentucky. Uh, I just feel like God's really called me to teach the Bible, and um, so I'm going to better prepare myself to do that with seminary, and we'll see where that leads me. Okay, well, great. And your, your parents, you've got parents who come to every game, and they're some of our biggest fans. They sit right behind George and cheer loudly for us. So do you need to give them a shout out? I do, I do. I want to thank my dad and my stepmom, Michelle, just for everything that you guys do for me and for the team as well, um, just for being some of the biggest Drover fans that we have and just for the support that you bring every game. So. Well, we look forward to a great season out of the team this year. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. 
Each week we pick our fan of the week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Last week's fan of the week was Code Vincent Metcalf. Again, congratulations to you. This week's fan of the week is Kyle Morales. Congratulations, Kyle. That's our show. Make sure to check usao.edu slash sports for details on basketball scores and postseason soccer. Our ladies are going to Point Loma Nazarene in San Diego to represent us in the opening round of the NAI National Tournament. And the guys, they're going to Missouri Valley to do the exact same thing. So you want to make sure to check out that website. Also, we want to let you know we're not going to have a show next week because it's Thanksgiving. So we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving from USAO and In the Saddle cast and crew. We'll see you later on In the Saddle.